Oh, there we go. She's coming in hot. Coming in real hot. She's dogging me. Totally dogging me. What's up, YouTube? Eastern PA Fishing here. The date is November 20th. It's been very cold over the last few days, so I'm very excited because today it's gonna to be about 54 degrees. A major change compared to the 30 some degrees weather we've had over the last few days. It's been pretty brutal here in Southeastern Pennsylvania. I got a little bit of a late start on today, so I am gonna to rush to a new creek where there is potential for me to catch not only brown trout, but brook trout, rainbow trout, American eels, smallmouth bass, an assortment of panfish, catfish. This little creek apparently has everything. I'm mostly gonna be fishing for trout. I am actually dying to catch myself a wild brook trout. So hopefully we can do that today. Hope you guys all like the content. If at any point you do, scroll down below, hit the thumbs up button. Also, if you're not subscribed to the Eastern PA Fishing YouTube channel, do that too. Eastern PA Fishing here, you know what it is by now. Let's get right to the fishing. Whew, well, we made it. It was about a 40 minute drive here. Not too bad. Look at this scenery. We are not in Montgomery County today. Today we are in Chester County. So I got to walk through this huge field and all the way down to the left is where this little creek starts. So we have a little bit of a walk to the back of this field where the little creek is. Hopefully we're gonna catch some trout. This is so cool. Man, what an awesome place. The little creek that's all the way back at the end of this field is actually surrounded by rich people's houses. I don't know too many rich folk that are outdoorsmen. Not too many people are probably fishing this creek. There's probably little to zero pressure. Taking a little shortcut, cutting across the field. I think I took the wrong trail. Either way, I think I would make it down to the creek. This will just be a little bit faster. I'm gonna find the right trail to take the way back. Good thing I came here pretty late in fall. It would literally be impossible to walk through this field any earlier in the season. All this grass is now dead. I wonder if they clear this field in the winter. I have no idea, honestly. It doesn't really look like it. Well, we made it down to the little creek we're gonna be fishing today. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it looks pretty juicy. Looks like it has some nice deep pockets, nice flowing water. As you can see, there's some little rapids over there. It looks like we found a good spot. Like I said, this creek is surrounded by private property, so I don't know how much of it I'm gonna be able to walk today. I have my handy dandy one eighth of an ounce rooster tail spinner tied on. The color is brown trout. I have it all hooked up on my Cast King Centron Medium with my Abu Garcia size 10 reel. I have my reel all spooled up with some four pound monofilament and a six foot long fluorocarbon leader so the fish don't see the line. It's gonna try to creep our way along the bank. Man, there's some real deep pockets in this. I don't think I'm gonna be able to walk too much of it with these crappy waders. Pretty big red breast sunfish just chased that thing in. We will actually take anything from this creek today. We're not gonna be too picky. We just wanna catch some fish, see what's hanging around here. Would be awesome to catch some trout, but that's not always the goal. Well, let's figure out how we're gonna get around this place. I think we're actually gonna have to cross. Let's keep looking. Let's keep exploring, guys. I'm excited. Beautiful day out here. I did get a little bit of a late start. I think we're gonna be able to make the most of the time we have. Made it across the creek. Might have some access to some better spots. You know, it looks like a real good pool. Need to hit it from the right angle. Oh, that looks like a big old fall fish. This looks like a serious spot. Not sure. How good of an angle you guys are gonna get. I'm gonna take a little seat here. This is one heck of a spot. It wasn't bad, not bad. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, we had him. We had him. That was so sick. He's not gonna come back. Oh, he came back. Oh my gosh, he had it again. You gotta be kidding me. That is ridiculous. Same fish right in front of me. Oh man, we blew that one. 
really cool little spot. Saw a couple trout. At least I think they were trout. I'm kind of walking through all this pretty fast. I can always come back and hit some of the other spots that I missed. I also want to go downstream and explore a little bit too. Right now I'm heading upstream. It's a good way to start. A little split here. Try this side. Doesn't look like there's anything in this pool. Other side looks real nice though. Dang, look at this side, guys. This looks like a good spot for a trout to hang. Looks like a good spot, but maybe it's not. Good spot, maybe not. This is a real big pool. There's gotta be something hanging out here. Man, no followers or anything. Now we already did see a few fish, so we know there's stuff in here that will bite the spinner. They look like trout to me, not exactly too sure. First bite I had was definitely a fall fish. As I'm getting up here, it's starting to look a little more sandy and less rocky. Now trout like rocks in the water, so maybe that's why I'm not seeing much up here. Uh, we're gonna fish this up to the edge of the property, and then we're gonna turn around. Nothing here, guys. We are getting close to where we have to turn around. You guys can probably see that little bridge over there. On the other side of that bridge is actually all private property. So I'm not trying to trespass, not trying to piss anybody off, not trying to get in trouble myself. So we're gonna fish up to there, do a couple casts under the bridge, see if there's any fish there, head back the other way, hit the few holes that I saw trout in, try to catch them. If I don't get anything there, I'm gonna head past where I started and keep going downstream. Got quite a bit of stretch to cover today. We don't have much sunlight left in the day, so let's keep fishing. It's actually a lot more shallow under here than I thought it was going to be. I don't think there's going to be anything here. Do a couple casts anyway. Why not, right? Well, it's kind of a shame we didn't catch anything so far. That's all right, though. The further I came upstream, the less fish I saw. Right where I started was actually where I saw the biggest congregation of fish. So I'm going to go back to where I started. Like I said, I'm going to hit a few spots on the way back that I think might be productive. So we're heading back there now. I don't have that far of a trek. Hopefully, we'll still make some good time. Well, we are now past where we started this adventure, so we are heading downstream to untouched water. As far as I know, untouched. Doesn't look like too many people are fishing this place. Still looking for that first fish. Nope, nothing. Oh, this is a little sketchy. I think it might be all right though. Yeah, we're good on that side. Hopefully this one doesn't break. Oh, it's gonna lean on us though. Oh, drink. oh yeah. Didn't fall in the water. So it was a good thing. Well, it's starting to look a little fishier and fishier. Further I come downstream, this looks like a good rip here. Nothing popping out though. We're gonna catch something here today, guys. Gotta keep a positive attitude. We already saw some fish, so we know they're here. Just gotta catch them. Starting to see a couple signs that I wasn't hoping to see for another mile or so. Oh, this is the last chance we got guys we're gonna try this one spot head upstream just a little bit and then probably turn around well everybody i did see some trout here today but we were not able to get on top of them this place is so very small and it's just surrounded by a bunch of private property and also hunting grounds so i wasn't trying to get shot i'm not really wearing the brightest of clothing so there just wasn't really much to fish it took me what about 45 minutes to cover the entire thing so i am heading back to the parking lot now i am going to head back to my area i'm going to try to save the rest of this video and catch myself some fish a little closer to the home stay tuned Beautiful fall day. Couldn't ask for better weather. I have to say, I'm just thankful to be alive, be outside. Let's go check out the top of this hill real quick. Since we're on our way out, we don't really have anything better to do. Fish ain't going anywhere. We'll still have some time to catch them. A little bit of a way up. They go to the right or the left. Man, look at that, guys. Look at all that land. Let's keep going up. 
I'm telling you guys, I come to the coolest places on my fishing adventures. Look at this. All the way at the top of the hill. Awesome little tree. Nice stump there where you can sit. Over here to the left, we have some horsies. Nice little farm. And guys, we made it to the top of the hill. I'm gonna hold up the GoPro real quick, see if we can get a cool angle. Hopefully I'm not too shaky from all the coffee I had today. We are now going to head back. Hope you guys like all this scenery. I'm telling you, like I said, I do really come to the coolest places on my fishing adventures. The sun's right in my eyes. You can barely even see. But I hope you guys all like the content. Hope you guys all like the scenery. What a beautiful place. I don't know if I'll be coming back here for some fishing anytime soon, but I will definitely be heading back here for a nice little nature walk. What a beautiful place. What a great day to go on this adventure. It's not always about catching fish. Sometimes it's just about being out in the great outdoors. Hope you guys all like the content so far. Let's get to the second portion of this video. Well, everybody, I'm gonna be honest with you here. It is the following day. Don't mind my messy garage. Definitely have to clean up some of my fishing stuff. Anyway, it is the following day. Yesterday when I came back from filming the first portion of this video, I was actually really tired and there was probably only about an hour left to fish before it was dark out anyway. Since we did get skunked yesterday, I figured what better way to finish off this video than with a big old carp. So we're heading down the street to the little creek that runs right by my house. Hopefully we're gonna catch a big old carp. Stay tuned guys. And we made it. This is gonna be the little creek we're fishing today. I don't know how good of a view you guys are getting of it right now, but there is a lot of movement in the water. I think there's some big fish in the area. Just what I was looking for. Hopefully we're gonna be able to capitalize. There's a big fish out there for sure. I'm gonna to try to creep my way down to the water. It's gonna be a little bit of payback for yesterday. Now one thing I always seem to forget whenever I come carp fishing is my net. So once I do hook into a big one, because I know I'm going to, gonna be one heck of a battle. I have a 1 16th of an ounce jig head tied on here. I'm just gonna take my bread and ball it all the way around there. Covering the jig head completely. Just leaving the hook exposed. That's all you need to catch yourself a carp and also a creek that has carp in it, of course, which really aren't too uncommon in this part of Pennsylvania. Let's creep down to the water. Now that we're all rigged up and ready to go, one out there. Oh, I think we got a bite already. Yeah, something's biting it. This might be a first cast wonder today. Yeah, something's on there. There we go. Big carp, first cast. This is definitely payback for yesterday. Oh, don't run with it. He's coming back. That's a big carp, guys. Hopefully we can land him. I think that's a mirror carp. That's what it looks like. Man, he is pissed off. Look at that fish. like she's almost ready she's gonna fight a little more she's getting tuckered out Ooh, that actually is a big old common not a mirror beautiful carp got to keep the pressure on them always make sure you're fighting the fish don't let them rest she's just about ready oh, I'm gonna take off one more time but she ain't going far really working that four pound test Got to fight these fish for a while to get them in. Dang, come on, man. That is a feisty carp. Not a giant. There's some bigger ones in here. That is still a very, very nice fish. There we go, we got the head out of the water. Don't grab my line, don't grab my line. Oh, she swam right up on shore for us. There we go. Gonna get her unhooked immediately. There we go. First fish of today. 
great way to start out the second portion of this video that is a nice big common carp hope you guys get the best view of this beautiful fish whoa ho, 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 girl take it easy i'm putting you back but there we go guys beautiful common carp now you get to see the other side since she flipped around Well, there she goes. Whew. Certainly glad I came out fishing today. Well, there we go. That took about 10 minutes of fishing. See a couple more carp coming into the area, a little smaller than the one I just caught. But that's just some more opportunity to catch some more fish. I'm gonna rinse off my hands. They're all slimy now. I'm gonna bait up, see if we can catch another one. I'm gonna try to stay low here to go back to get some more bread. Don't want to spook the carp that just came into the area. Should be able to catch another one right from the same spot. This is actually a little creek that is not too far from my house. Like I said, I just biked down here. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably know where this is and I'm sure a lot of people don't know where this is. So please don't comment down below. If you do, I'll just remove your comment. This little creek does get a pretty good amount of pressure. So I don't want more people coming to this spot and blowing it up anymore. We're all rigged up again. Let's catch ourselves another carp. I think I might try to put it right in the same spot. Turn our drag back down. Let's get another one out there. Just try to sneak it in there. Oh, we got another bite. Oh, there we go. Second cast, second carp on. You gotta be kidding me, guys. Oh my gosh. This one looks like it's a little bigger than the one I just caught. Dang, that is a strong fish. I think that's a mirror. Oh, stay out of there. Whole bunch of sticks on the other side. I'm not trying to get caught up in. Stay out of there. Tighten this drag a little bit. Ah, oh, she's taking me under the bridge. That is a pissed off carp. Dang. That is a strong fish, guys. Just coming back. Don't want to horse her in. Like I said, four pound test. This line won't hold forever. This is the second big carp. I never even retied from the first one. Oh man, that is a pig of a mirror. She's just dogging me too. Come on, get on up here. Oh, I think she's wrapped up. Oh man, I hope she doesn't break me off. right on the lip again with the bread on the little 1 16th of an ounce jig head. Uh, she broke me off. I horsed her. Should have retied after the first one. I guess I'm gonna retie. Looks like she did break off my leader, so I'm gonna have to tie another one of those as well. That's where she actually broke me off at the leader. So I gotta retie another leader, tie another jig head on there, throw some more bread on. We're gonna catch another carp, guys. Stay tuned. Now, if you guys want to, you can totally roast me in the comments for breaking off that jig head in the carp's mouth. I'll tell you guys right now that those jig heads are made of the cheapest lead that you can freaking find. So that's gonna rust out of that carp's mouth in less than a week. So like I said, if you want to roast me down in the comments, oh dude, you should have retired. You're so irresponsible for using light line. But trust me, you have to use light line when you're fishing for carp they won't bite on anything else. They're not stupid fish. Well, it took me a little while to retie my leader and get everything set up again. But just in case you guys are wondering what type of bread I use, always that Myers premium Italian bread. It's that piff. Now the big carp probably did scare a few of the other carp that were in the area out of here. But it's been a while since I've been in the water since I had to retie. So hopefully there's something hanging around now. Let's get out there and catch him same spot keep hitting that same exact spot oh yeah there's a lot of carp in the area they're all congregating at this portion of the creek for whatever reason probably because i'm here throwing bread in the water oh snap he's got it he's got it there we go it's a big mirror don't want my drag to be too tight don't want to break this one off that is a big mirror. Third fish on. Hopefully it's gonna be the second fish we catch. Get in here, girl. 
Here she comes, here she comes. She's coming in hot, coming in real hot. She's dogging me, totally dogging me. That is a big fish. I wanna make sure my line doesn't get too tight. I wanna have that drag set properly. I think she rolled on us too. She might be wrapped. Yeah, she's wrapped. It's one thing carp love to do. I think she unwrapped herself. Yep. All right, here she comes. I feel like the last six feet of a carp battle is always the scariest. It's where you have the biggest chance of breaking off when your line's just super tight. You have your drag pretty much as tight as you can get it without the fish breaking you off. She's coming in. She's up on those leaves. Oh, I got her head up. She's gonna turn again. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. Second catch of the day. Whew. Stay, girl. Okay, jigs out. Just wanna give the camera one good look at this fish before I get her back. She fought me for a while, so I don't wanna keep her out too long. Damn, look at this fish, guys. Comment down below how much you think that weighs. That is at least, I don't know, a 12 or 13 pound fish, maybe even bigger. Look at the mouth. Oh, man, just look at the gills on that thing. Look at the freaking fins. Whew. Not the prettiest fish for sure, but that is a big old mirror carp. Let's get her back. Beautiful fish. Ooh. There she goes. She was ready. She wasted no time. That is the third carp on and the second big carp that we landed. I saw a ton of carp out there, but after that much action in the water, I don't know what else is really gonna be willing to bite. Maybe we'll be able to pull another one out of here. I'm gonna wash off my hands, check my line so I don't break off. Even after that big old carp, looks like my line is still good. So I'm just gonna rebate and catch myself probably one more carp. I've only actually been fishing for a half an hour, which is surprising because I've had all that action within that short period of time. It's a little bit of a dismal day out, but it is pretty early in the day, so I still have a ton of time to fish. But I think I only wanna catch three out of here. I don't wanna overload this place and I don't wanna push these fish to their limits. I'm a firm believer in not overloading or over pressuring spots. I think it destroys waterways and makes the fishing suck. So one more carp will do it for us today. Well, everybody, this is gonna be a wrap on the video today. I hope you guys all like the content. Two great days of fall fishing. Had a couple nice days this week. They're gonna be some of the last few. It is gonna get cold, believe it or not, everybody. Usually gets a little too chilly for me and all I wanna do is sit inside and play Xbox. But I'm gonna keep pumping these videos your way. I hope you guys all liked the episode. If at any point you did, scroll down below, hit the thumbs up button. Helps me out in the fish like it as well. Also, if you're not subscribed to the Eastern PA Fishing YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Eastern PA Fishing here. You know what it is by now. Till next time, guys. Keep on fishing.